Hello everyone and welcome to a Dreamworld build tutorial by Good Guys Free. I know I'm taking a risk here, I might have to redo the video completely if they change the game, but I simply had to show how much easier it is to create a pentagon shape in Dreamworld after trying to do this in No Man's Sky. Not given up on NMS, but it's eluded me thus far. I decided to create it from half ceilings made of sandstone. It seems fitting considering the fact that we're in a desert. Alas, I do not have any sandstone in my inventory, so I'll go around and start breaking down some small boulders first. We could break just about anything from giant boulders to those complete Greek or Roman looking structures, but we don't need too much, just a few rocks would be fine. Ok, I think that's enough. Let's start by placing one half ceiling hovering a bit in front of us. Now jumping on top we can start adding pieces. One on one side and another on the other side. Notice the directional lines, they need to be aligned. Do not rotate the pieces in place, but let the game decide how to fit them. This affects what the game does when you try to attach other pieces and we want this to remain consistent. Now I will try to add another piece and rotate it to see where the rotation anchor point is. We can see this is in the far left corner. The solution? Let's just start from the other side. On this side the rotation anchor point is perfect for our needs, but using the mouse roller for rotation rotates the part in 15 degree increments and we want to make a pentagon which requires the sides to have a 108 degree angle between them. Since the outer line here represents a 180 degree angle, so to speak, we need to rotate the part by 72 degrees and this is not possible in increments of 15 degrees. Therefore we have to go into the fine tune HUD. To do this we start by placing the part with the right mouse button, but we hold the right mouse button until the part looks in the right place before the rotation. Then while still holding down the right button, we click the left button and still keep the right button held. This opens the fine tune HUD. Don't release the right mouse button yet. Over on the top left we see the fine tune HUD and the orange arrows indicate that we are in translation mode. This lets us move things along a specific axis, but what we want is to change the rotation angle to 72 degrees. First we switch to rotation mode. You can either click the angle marker or press 2 on your keyboard. Now we click the 5.0 number to the right of the angle marker and type in 72. To complete the selection I select translation mode and return to rotation mode. There has to be a better way I'm sure, but I'm too lazy to find out. At this point we can rotate the new part 72 degrees counterclockwise, but if you use the mouse wheel you will still get the same 15 degree rotation increments. You need to grab the light blue circle line of the rotation HUD. This is the line that lies horizontally parallel to the part we need to rotate. You can see the other two lines are perpendicular to the surface and to each other. When we grab only a single yellow circle remains and we drag along the circle until we see it says minus 72. Release the left and right buttons and the game places the part in the correct orientation as we designed. Since the base of our pentagon is three parts, we select and copy the part we just placed two more times. At the end of this set of three parts, we repeat the process for the third side of the pentagon. And again and again, and voila, the pentagon is ready. Good guys free here and I hope you enjoyed and learned something. I know I still have a lot to learn, so if you find something in this video I could have done better, let me know in the comments. And if there are other things you want to learn how to build in Dreamworld, also drop me a note and I'll try to prioritize it. And hey, if you didn't hit like yet, now's a great time, I really appreciate it. See you again soon.